Welcome to your video and walkthrough tour of Moss Hill Cottage, which is located out at Monkland for easy access to the lovely village of Pembridge as well. So it's the property you've just seen along with circa seven acres. So it's this paddock that you see here uh, and then the next small paddock just after the post and wire fencing. There is a building uh, within that paddock there as well. You've got a five bar gate leading into um, another field just beyond that hedge. So it's actually the second hedgerow that you see. So again, overall, just over seven acres, which is fantastic. So you've got a nice sweeping driveway as you come in here, leading through to this double garage workshop space, which I'll show you in, in a moment. You've got lovely um, turning area and parking area, and then a nice rear garden to the property as well. So rear garden is private like the rest of the residence, as you can see. There's a patio area at the end, a door into the utility area, and then a door into uh, the dining room stroke snug which i'll show you in a moment obviously there's a garage here but it could be ripe for conversion if someone wanted to make a bigger kitchen dining space but you'll see when we go inside there's so much room downstairs four bedrooms upstairs so before we go into the house i'm going to show you the workshop first so a little bit backwards but as you come down you've got space here as you can see for car trailer motorhome then you've got the paddocks there that you can see and again just through that five bar gate is another paddock so please do have a look at the land plan we're going through the rear access here so this is all on separate electric so it could obviously be sectioned out from the house could be utilized as a, um, a space to work from or just a double garage space so workshop area here with those uh, bifold doors there nice sink area as well so great for washing anything you need to then into further garage space Doors there, and then obviously doors in front of there. Previously, it's been a workshop. It's been used as a workshop. We've got an office area here as well, and that obviously enjoys the views that you've got. And then just within the green door here, you do have a WC space as well. So a fantastic area. Could, again, be converted into uh, ancillary accommodation subject to authority from local authority, subject to the planning. But a great space. And then we'll go and have a look at the house itself. So coming back down here, you've got that rear garden that I mentioned. You've got that big sweeping driveway and frontage there, access into the garage area from the front, and then those views as well. We'll go in through this way. That's the uh, door into the garage there, um, which again could be ripe for conversion. So coming in through this entrance, you've got a great area here. So you've actually got space to decant, a couple of coat hooks areas, downstairs shower room as well, essential obviously with the land, window in there as well. Into then the kitchen, which flows nicely into a, a snug and then living room. But the kitchen is laid out as a kitchen diner. You could obviously utilize the snug as a dining room as well. Uh, you do have some doors in there, but again, I'll bring you into there. So great space. It's really, really well thought out this one. So ample eye level and low level units. You've got a sink there with a double drainer looking out onto that rear garden that we've been around. Nice and bright. You can see towards the parking area that we've come down. Lovely beams on show as well. And then you do have a great size utility room here. So as you can see, you've got modern boiler, sink area, then door out to the garden, and then appliance space there as well. So you could actually use that as a boot room entrance if you wish, but you've already got that storage there. Um, as you as you walk in so nice kitchen space as i mentioned it flows not great into the uh what they've got laid out as a snug actually but again it could be a formal dining room we've got additional doors out to the garden space a patio area that you've been around and looked at already then you come into uh, a holding area which i'll walk you through in a moment and then a brilliant living room so again our clients have got it laid out as a lounge with large fireplace there and then dining area but could just be a lounge because you do have that room that's very versatile windows on three sides so lots of light coming in again then that fire does allow lots of heat to come forward into the whole residence itself so a great space previously um, this would have been the entrance hall so you would have had um, space here to hang coats and things could be a study area this has um, previously been a porch, but now the study area itself. Um, and again, you've seen that in the uh, outbuildings already, but you could change it around. I think it's a quite a versatile space as a bit of an area to hide stuff. Understair storage there as well. 
big window overlooking the land and the outbuilding that we've been. And then as you come up the stairs, you've got good sized land in here, storage on the right hand side. Or well, you've already seen the shower room downstairs, but you've got a five piece bathroom in here. So you've got B day, separate shower, basin, WC, and then the bath itself. Glazed window, not that you need it around here, it's very private as you've seen. And then as you come, you've got three double bedrooms located on this point, so a great size double here. You do have again, nice view over your land, or part of the land. Then you've got a side facing window as well, so allowing lots of light in, and then you do have space for the wardrobe. Another double here. Just slightly different view, so it's overlooking the rear garden. Plenty of space for wardrobes. You can even see it's got cot laid out for the grandchildren. And then into what's described as the principal room. So again, plenty of space for wardrobes. You've got the window overlooking the rear garden. Lots of light coming in. And then here you do have additional WC and basin as well. Where I'm stood right now, you could obviously think about turning that into a shower area as well. Um, but because you've got that shower downstairs, you've already got the two, two washrooms as well. And then as you come up, you've got a holding area here. So again, could be utilized as a little study space, or you could put some storage up here. But it flows nicely into the fourth bedroom, which again, you've got areas there for um, drawers or hanging, as you can see. Lovely side facing window with some nice views out of there and then Velux window as well encompassing further views and that's been your full walkthrough tour of this lovely property with the land seven acres in total four bedrooms and that outbuilding which subject to regulation and planning could be turned into additional accommodation but it's a great workshop potential stables as well so seven acres Three stroke four reception rooms, utility room, boot room, two bathrooms, four bedrooms. If you'd like to arrange a formal inspection on this one, please get in touch with the Lempster sales team. Thank you very much.